Today, s and Makers is proud to announce Clipper support has been added to Bed Leveler 5000. If you're unfamiliar with Bed Leveler 5000, it's a revolutionary new way to level an FDM printer bed using a computer program instead of antiquated paper or failure gauges. Eschewing the ways of the past, Bed Leveler 5000 uses your printer Z probe sensor to report heights and visualize bed meshes. The utility also supports setting and adjusting bed and nozzle temperatures, making it possible to manually level the printer bed without needing to touch any uncomfortably hot, heated surfaces. Bed Leveler 5000's release two months ago was an instant success, with many people finding manual bed leveling significantly easier than ever before, and numerous users reporting far better results than they've ever achieved with paper or feeler gauges. There was only one problem, however. Bed Leveler 5000 only supported Marlin printers. Well, today that all changes. Not only is Clipper now fully supported, but it actually works slightly better than with Marlin. Due to overwhelming demand, we decided to release Clipper support today, but that doesn't mean this is the end of Bed Lover 5000 development. We are actively working on adding new features, including automation, screw tilt adjust, new and improved visualizations, and other capabilities to make manual bed leveling even easier. Adding Clipper support to Bed Leveler 5000 required not only a few changes to the user interface, but also a nearly complete rewrite of the source code. In this video, I'm going to bring you on a quick tour of Bed Leveler 5000's new Clipper support. To watch Bed Leveler 5000 fully level a print bed, please watch the original Bed Leveler 5000 video linked in the description. Also, if you've used Bed Leveler 5000 in the past, please note that the printer configuration file format has changed and any existing configuration files will need to be updated or recreated. Luckily, the printer info wizard has been updated to support the new format, making creating printer files quick and painless. Our next video will provide a demonstration of using the new printer info wizard interface. The inspector G code utility has also been updated with Clipper support and will be documented in a future video. A development Swiss Army type printer testing tool creatively named Printer Tester has also been created and will be revealed in a subsequent video. Being a graphical utility, you can start Bed Leveler 5000 either from the command line or by directly double clicking on its icon. If you will be repeatedly using Bed Leveler 5000 with the same printer, then you might want to use the command line or create a custom shortcut since there are command line options for selecting the startup printer and connection information. However, today we are going to launch Bed Lover 5000 by double clicking on the icon. The first step to using Bed Lover 5000 is selecting your desired printer model. For this video, we are going to be connecting to a Neptune 4 Max printer, so that is what we will select in the printer combo box. Notice that the port field changed to a host field. That is because, while Bed Lover 5000 connects to Marlin printers with serial or USB over serial connections, Bed Lover 5000 connects to Clipper printers over a network connection in the Moonraker service. If there is demand, other connection methods may be added in the future. The printer we will be using today has an IP address of 10.0.0.101, so that is what we will enter into the host field. With the printer model and host values entered, we can now click the connect button to actually connect to the printer. Bed Lover 5000 performs a short initialization sequence when connecting to a printer to query probe and bed mesh settings while also ensuring the printer is fully homed. Once initialization has finished, we can start interacting with the printer. Often, one of the first things you're going to want to do is to set the bed and nozzle temperatures. To do that, first enter in the desired temperatures and then select on for each. While Bed Leveler 5000 doesn't wait for the printer to reach temperature, you can monitor the current temperatures in the status bar. 
The value on the left is the current temperature. The value in parentheses is the desired temperature, and the value in the square brackets is the power percentage being applied to each heater. There is a button to perform homing, but since BedLover 5000 performs homing as part of its initialization sequence, we will skip that for now. Once the printer has reached temperature, we can start probing the bed. BedLover 5000 has two different probing modes, manual and mesh. Let's start with the manual mode. This mode is primarily used for adjusting the four to six bed height adjustment screws. A set of fully configurable buttons allows for probing the printer bed, just like the manual probe screen in your printer's LCD controller. However, unlike when using the LCD controller, the printer doesn't move the nozzle over the adjustment screw. Instead, BedLover 5000 uses the Z-Probe to take an offset reading at the associated location and prints the result in the log widget. You can safely probe points as many times as you want and in any order that you want. BedLover 5000 does not make any changes to your printer, so you don't need to be concerned with breaking anything. I also want to point out one of the biggest benefits of using BedLover 5000. At least with the Neptune 3 and 4 printers, BedLover 5000 will never lose or delete your stored bed mesh, unlike when using the LCD controller to probe the bed. The second mode is called Mesh, and creates a mesh of your printer's bed. While this mesh intentionally can't be saved to your printer, it provides an easy and convenient way to safely view the bed mesh in both numeric and 3D graph formats. To create the mesh, just click the Update Mesh button. The default view is labeled Mesh and shows each recorded point in numeric form. Changing the display field to 3D Mesh will bring up the fully interactive 3D graph view of the bed mesh. Bed mesh statistics, including minimum value, maximum value, and the difference between the two are available in the right of the window. If you've used BedLover 5000 in the past, please note that the mesh and 3D mesh displays in the current version of the utility show offsets and the display modes showing absolute values have been removed. Once you are done interacting with the printer, you can either click the disconnect button or just completely close the BedLover 5000 utility. You will not damage your printer if you forget to click disconnect. Well, that's it for our quick tour of Clipper support in BedLover 5000. Connecting to a Marlin printer is virtually identical, except instead of entering a host name, you need to select the COM port. Otherwise, everything else is the same. While this was only a quick tour, if you want to watch BedLover 5000 being used to fully level a printer's bed, please watch the original BedLover 5000 video linked in the description. Before you go, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video so you can be the first to learn about our future videos, printer modifications, and enhancements to BedLoveler 5000. Thanks for watching.